that yes come and try and get cloud hired i'm cloud hired i'm cloud hired i'm cloud hired hey go, go cloud architect family i'm cloud hired well i'm cloud hired guys i am cloud hired thank you mike and the glow cloud team Uh, my name is Abigail Marks, and I'm from the D.C. metro area. So before I joined the Go Cloud Careers program, I was a United States Army veteran. I was a combat photographer, videographer. So I did a lot of uh, photography, videography, uh, writing, editing, marketing, that sort of thing. I dabbled uh, my hand in healthcare, didn't like it. Um, then I stumbled along um, Mike's program on YouTube and th the rest was history. Well, when I originally was trying to figure out my plan, uh, my cousin is a software developer at Uber and he told me to get 10x certified, uh, 10x AWS certified. So I went on YouTube and honestly, I was trying to figure it out, but I knew that I needed someone that could explain things in a way that I'd be able to understand uh, analogies, um, you know, using visuals. And I stuck around with Mike's Q and A sessions, his boot camps, and it took me a while to, you know, really kind of say I'm going to do this, but he just continued to explain things in a way that that you know not only were easy to understand but comforted me because he came from more of like a a military background at least that that was com comforting to me i could relate to that so he was relatable and he broke things down in an easy way to understand What ultimately led me to join the program was the sense of community and the YouTube chats. Um, you know, I would ask questions uh, and they would be answered pretty quickly. I, I felt like I was understood, uh, reassured that <laughs> coming from a military background, not in the cloud, uh, I was encouraged essentially that I would be able to do this and it, the program gives you a lot of confidence that you can keep going. So uh, that sense of community is, is honestly what drove me to, uh, to continue with the program or to join the program. What makes Go Cloud Architects stand out is undoubtedly the sense of community. Um, I have made so many friends and, and not just friends, but also, you know, networking opportunities. Um, honestly, I, I dare to say lifelong friends. Um, you, you can't stop the community. Uh, everyone is very positive, encouraging. There's so many different sub communities, telegram channels, everybody makes. There's a lot of leadership in the program and we all work together. And, and that really does help you continue to, to keep going. So I'd say the sense of community is definitely the number one, um, the number one aspect to me that stands out about Go Cloud Architects. Uh, Go Cloud Architects has literally changed my life. I know that that is a cliche, but for me, it is very true. Uh, this program has allowed me to just uh, dive in to, you know, take the leap into cloud. And I've just been putting my full force into it. I actually bit the bullet and left a job I was very unhappy with at a hospital. And I just decided I'm going to go pretty much full time GCA. And I'm so glad I made that decision. It's honestly one of the best decisions I've ever made in the past few years. Um, I've made so many friends, so many connections. Um, being on LinkedIn with Mike and with you, Chris, it's just, 
I don't know. The sense of community is really all that I can rave about. It's everyone wants to help each other and you never know what someone is going through. And I would, will definitely say that this program has, has really changed my life as cliche -y as that sounds. <laughs> There's several things I didn't expect um, that the GoCloud Architects community uh, would provide. Um, when it when it uh, comes down to, to LinkedIn and just everyone in our community, um, everyone is involved and interested in something different. So there's always like Telegram groups, like Zoom call meetings. Um, uh, let's say webinars, things I never would have heard of if it wasn't for GoClouds. And if one of my connections in my network, whatever is like interested in AI, you know, I never really knew I would have been interested in AI, but now I'm joining an AI workshop. How would I have heard about that before? So the workshops, uh, webinars, um, for sure, um, study group opportunities, um, opportunities as far as jobs, like recruiters, I'm hit up by recruiters now. Like I'd say the average now is five a day. So I try to take some of those and just practice my interviewing skills, even because I'm not looking for a job right now. Uh, you know, I don't want to burn a bridge either. So to sum that up, I would say, uh, webinars, uh, meetups, um, opportunities to work with tech hands-on or, or go travel to Texas and work with someone's bare metal servers <laughs> and build my own Ansible uh, cloud or use Raspberry Pi um, and make hands-on labs so, um, and, and jobs. You know, I guess if I was really looking for jobs right now, I would have the pick of the litter, <laughs> but um, that's not where I'm at right now. let's say i will say thank you chris and mike for creating this amazing program uh where i was eight months ago is uh, there's no comparison today i've learned not only tech but so many soft skills and transferable skills from the military that i honestly had no idea at that point had any relation to cloud computing so your program has 150% changed how I think about my skills, what's transferable, um, just in general, how I should be thinking about those soft skills and their importance. So thank you very much. Uh, I've been able to, I've been able to really upskill those areas of my life. So thank you.